Take your part in that back, Crawford. Looking for the a lot of good, a lot of bad here, but it's in the right frame of mind. So when we go back to the beginning, this is how we should be setting up. I don't like how her eyes are downfield here. I would like her just a little bit more upfield and then looking backwards. Um, I think that works out just a little bit better. So when this happens, you know, big fake, now eyes are on this handler. She really doesn't have any idea. She's not able to get a sense of what's going on behind her. She's got to be able to see both, and this isn't giving her a good idea. Take your part. So we got a little cut that just beats her up line, and, you know, that's not the slow plane we're talking about. We want the opposite. So now we've got next person up. I love this setup, but again, we got the eyes kind of in a weird position. I would like the body position to be opposite. I would like it to be opposite. So a good slow play cuts off the upfield, but then big time bites on the downfield, but is super lucky that this person started looking upfield a little bit too soon. Had she not and saw this, she would be able to put it out to space and the play goes on, but instead forces one, gets deed, fouled, whatever you would call it. Looking for the but had an open look. So they're not slow playing, but they're really close to the right setup. Zone, rug, rifled it in there. The ideal scenario. This is what we want. I would like, okay, ideal, relatively ideal. Um, we've got this person slow playing right here, you know, making this person look relatively open, but he's able to see both the person and the disc and make these looks look really, really close to open, but not quite. You know, the offense is waiting for just that little bit better cut, a little bit more open. They never get it. The stall count rises, and all of a sudden she's stall eight, stall nine, has to figure something out. Let's replay a little bit. So right here, I would rather this person be about a yard away. You know, this is open. This was the best look. And uh, why she didn't throw this? I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't that open, open from her angle. Um, he eventually closes this down. This is what we want right here. And when this person makes that fake upfield to get a little bit more backfield, he's not reacting too much to the upfield because he's got that buffer space. If he were like the people in the other videos right here and that fake goes off, all of a sudden, you know, they're biting a little too hard there and actually getting that person open. But by slow playing, just constantly staying one step behind them really good. and playing. Defense really good handler defense. Sometimes good offense just beats good defense. And this is where mixed is fun. Mixed offense when utilizing these give and goes can sometimes put people in situations that are unguardable. So let's watch this play. So back to Kirkland and up the line and as this person gets the disc, this handler fakes like they're clearing out but then just simply cuts under, just cuts under. This person's not able to cut that off, but also they are now in the perfect mixed give and go scenario. This is something that, you know, good handlers recognize when they're gonna get that open one. And geez, this was like a three steps ahead of the score type of thinking. Because the moment they went under, set up this scenario, that is a score 100% of the time. And if, if this were same gender, this is easy. We switch this. We switch that easy, you know? And same gender scenarios with those give and goes should not be as effective because we're able to switch so easily. But this just puts us into those decision making thoughts. So either we hedge right here to slow this person down. Back to Kirkland. Maybe we switch the force for a second and they put it back to the, the middle of the field, which is also not great. And or we do nothing and just let them score. So lots of tough decisions. None of them are great. Um, offense, take advantage of these because it puts us in great situations. And defense, avoid them at all costs. Um, it's, it's tough to defend, but thank you for watching.